Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick, and I'm here to make you into a lean, mean building machine. We're going to take it step by step and put together the coolest LEGO sets out there so that you will have the tools and tricks you need to build whatever crazy thing you can imagine. Alright, we're back for our LEGO Star Wars ATST Raider, set number 75254. This is bag 4, part 3. So we're going to start out on page number 94. And once again, if you joined us for part 1 of bag 4, this is going to look really familiar. We're going to get our 2x8 and we're also going to get a 4x4 four four in dark gray. It's smooth except for this line of studs there. We're going to line that up with the end of this so that it's going across like a T. Then we're going to get two of our 2x10s. <clears throat> two and put them on either side. They should be hanging off one stud on each side. And then we're going to grab this black 2x4. We are going to line that up with the right side. Put that on there. And then we're going to get a gray 1x4, dark gray 1x4 smooth piece. Put it along the side here, the right side lined up with this 4x4. Four four. We're also going to put a light gray gold bar piece off the end of this black 2x4. And then we're going to grab one of these dark gray 1x8s with the rail off the side. The rail is going to go off the top and it's going to be flush with the right hand side. that. Then step 166, we're going to grab a light gray 2x3. It's going to clip on to the underneath side of this rail piece, the two studs that were hanging over. And then we are going to go to step 167. We're going to grab our other big dark gray wing and that's going to clip right into here. We're going to leave three studs exposed there for our rust colored 1x3. Stick that right in there. Step 168, we're going to put on another decal. So we're going to grab this smooth 2x4 piece and we're going to put on decal number 9. Decal number 9 also has a notch cut out of the corner. And that is going to go like this on that side. So you're looking at it like this, the notch is going to go in the top left. It's going to be all the way to the bottom of the piece. So then the sticker is going to go in the top left corner and I'm going to put that on there going across those spaces there. And then we're going to take this smaller uh, dark gray wing and we are going to put it so this little wing is going to go right off the side of this light gray piece. Stick out right there. And then we're going to take this 1x8 dark gray piece, the rail on the side, and we're going to put that rail right along the bottom here. And go out and be flush with the end of that wing. And then step 170, we're going to grab one of these dark gray 1x4 smooth flats. Two of those actually. And we're going to get one of these light gray home plate pieces. Now the side that has this 
wing sticking out. We're going to go up to the top corner of that on the right hand side. We're going to put this light gray home plate with the arrow pointing off to the left. And then right above that on that top row of studs we're going to put our dark gray smooth piece. And then on the back edge right here we're going to put the other dark gray piece. Now 171 we're going to get another 2x2 two two round bright red piece. Put it right in the center of this black 2x4. And then we're going to grab a light gray diamond piece and a light gray gold bar piece and another light gray home plate. Now the gold bar piece is going to go right above these two rust colored studs and this diamond shaped piece is going to go with the corner that's trimmed off towards the center of this 4x4 four four plate. So right next to the gold bar, that trimmed off corner facing the bottom right. And now we're going to put this home plate piece right in here, right underneath the gold bar piece, pointing down. And then, then Step 172, we're going to grab four of these dark gray quarter circle smooth pieces and we're going to surround this red circle. Moving on, we're going to flip this over and we're going to get three of these round skid plates and we're going to put them one in this corner with the wing and one right above that a step up onto that dark gray piece and then go up the gray piece and put one on the end in the corner there <clears throat> then our next step we're going to grab this light gray two by two with the clip hole on the side and it is going to go down here flush with this black piece for the bottom half on the black piece and half on this dark gray piece just like that we're going to take our dark tan one by two and we're going to put it right above that. And then we're going to take one of these dark gray metallic single round studs and put it in this bottom left corner of this light gray piece. Right there. Got that. So Step 175, we're going to grab this 4x4 four four light gray flat piece, flip it over, put it right above this dark tan 1x2, put it right on there, and then step 176, we're going to get our dark tan 1x4 and our rust colored 1x3. Those are going to go along the back of this piece with the clip hole. Got one stud overlapping that, and the rest go up here onto this light gray 4x4. And then we're going to put this rust colored piece lined up with the bottom of this 4x4 alongside this light gray 
and it sticks up one stud higher than than the dark tan piece. Now step 177, we'll grab this black piece, it's got the clip on the bottom, and then crossing it is this peg hole, and we're going to stick that into this light gray piece, and it's going to go, so that this light gray piece is the one that's a 1x2 with the peg hole on the underneath side crossing it. So <clears throat> if the peg hole's on the top, you take this piece and clip it in to the right side. And then I'm going to flip it over and place it right on top of that dark tan piece. Make sure that this is oriented so that you can see the hole coming out this side. See down into that hole? Like that. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Join us next time when we finish up bag four.